This is something I completely stopped doing. I used to do this all the time, basically transform.find in order to find the child object and basically get those references on some kind of parent game object. I used to like this method because it basically handles the whole thing through code, so I just set up everything correctly on my hierarchy. And then through code, I can just use find in order to find whatever object I want. However, find has one very big drawback that I always disliked until I got to the point where I found so many errors that I just decided from now on, nope, I'm never using it again. And that is, of course, find uses strings. And strings are pretty much terrible identifiers. You should never, ever use a string to identify something. Strings are really only meant to be used for text. That's it. Strings as identifiers are terrible because it makes it so easy to make any kind of mistakes. For example, this code here is throwing a null reference exception. Can you guess why that is? I'm going to give you a hint. You literally cannot guess because the error is literally invisible. So over here, I'm using visual. And yep, that seems to match. So this one is called visual. Except if I look in the inspector, I can see there's a sneaky little invisible space over there at the end. And visual without space is completely different from visual with space. So that's one reason why strings are terrible as identifiers. Because you think you are writing the exact same thing, but in reality, it is not. So for me nowadays, I never ever use find. I'm pretty sure I have not used find in at least five years. Nowadays, what I do is just this. So I define those fields as private serialized field. And in doing so, this exposes those fields over here in the editor. So I can just drag and drop references. And that way, I know for sure I have the correct reference with no issues without ever using strings. 